Hi, I'm Josh with Tech Zach, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, compare two Excel spreadsheets or worksheets together and highlight everything that's the same, or at least as far as serial numbers go, uh, which is sort of common operation that I have to do, and I always forget how to do it, hence why I make the video. So I'm going to sh uh, take everything from this uh, database and compare it to the unit level hand receipt and make sure that everything in the unit level hand receipt is in the database. So the easy way to do that is I show it by my property book and I want to get this over to Excel so I just create a new sheet after copying everything, paste that stuff in there, uh, unwrap the text, and I'm going to expand all this stuff too so I can actually read it. Now the only real column I'm concerned about is the D column with all the serial numbers and basically if this thing exists in this sheet I want to go ahead and highlight it. So I'm going to use something called conditional formatting which is under the home tab in at least uh, Excel 2013 uh, create a new rule, uh, go to use formula to determine which cells is to format and equal count if. And there's actually a couple different operations you can use for this, but I use count if because it's easiest to remember when I do actually remember it. And this is going to be the range and this is going to be the source cell. Now, I'm not actually going to type that stuff in there. I'm going to go back to the parentheses and choose sheet one and basically I'm choosing everything in A and L, columns A through L and I'm going to compare that to basically the cell starting out uh, here. Now Excel is going to want to put dollar signs in front of that and basically what it's going to do is for each one of these cells it's going to ask uh, is D1 equal to this and that's not what we really want. We want to fill series is what they call it and basically the, those dollar signs disable the fill series and those uh, those arrow buttons on the keyboard uh, do that and mess everything up. So I want to get rid of those dollar signs there. So basically a fill series, so in this one it looks for D1, sees if it's in this cell. If not, it go, uh, you know, bypasses in this one, it looks for D2, in this one D3, D3, D4, and that one, etc., etc. So I close parentheses and I'm going to say if it's greater than zero because basically what it's doing is going through that this uh, source uh, table here looking for a value there and if it is so it's going to add increment one and uh, basically we want to highlight everything where it's one or greater. So uh, we got zero there we're going to format here to yellow okay 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 and it probably didn't work. Reason being one is uh, the the Army's unit level hand receipt is a horrible format. I don't know who, who was smoking what when they you know, put this together and approved it. Uh, so we're going to, it has these little space characters which throw off everything. So I want to highlight those space characters, or at least from one, copy and replace, uh, insert in and find what, and replace it with absolutely nothing. Replace all, 19 replacements were made, close, pull. And it's still not working. Well, that's because you know Excel's a little glitchy, to be honest. Uh, I need to go ahead and hit this little fill color, and uh, I'm just going to fill it with white. But bam, it formats everything in yellow. That's something you won't get from a web page. Believe me, it's had me going for a couple hours and times. So uh, yeah, it's highlighting everything that's currently within this uh, sheet over here, and uh, this right here and here and here are high dollar value items that are not currently in my property book so I can sell them on eBay. No, I'm not going to go sell them on eBay. I'm going to get those on the property book. Uh, I don't know why I got a duplicate there. So anyway, uh, I want to do that inversely and make sure that everything in my property book is actually within my database as well. So this looks like it's going to be a little bit more complicated, but it's really not. It's about the same thing. I just highlight everything A through L go to conditional formatting and pretty much same thing I did earlier just uh, use a uh, use formula equals count if parentheses hop over to sheet 4 and I'm just gonna select this column because that's all I really care about at this point uh, comma and, and uh, I'm gonna start off with a1 because that's first uh, first cell within this uh, sheet here. And remember, we don't want the dollar signs there. If you select this thing, the, you know, this box, it's going to put it in there automatically because Excel is just a little wonky in that area. And I want to make sure if it's uh, greater than uh, greater than zero. And uh, we'll go ahead and format cells as yellow here as well. Okay, okay, okay. And uh, it looks like it highlighted everything. I 
guess I got a Lin as a serial number and UII managed, so to be honest, I, I'm not sure what's going on with that. But for the most part, all the other stuff is highlighted, except for that right there, because it's probably not in my property book. And I'll just give you a quick example, uh, I'll, get, I'll get this on the database, so uh, I'm going to highlight all that. Copy. Uh, I'm actually doing this a little bit backwards. So whatever. Uh, copy that and paste that. And uh, I'm going to change serial number to... Someday. Okay. Let's do that. And uh, it's in my book. It's on my database now. So that's cool. So anyway, uh, that's how you do that. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Oh, wait, I forgot to show you this uh, if I want to go back into the conditional format and just highlight the stuff that is not in my uh, database. I can do that, too. Uh, go to uh, highlight everything again, conditional formatting, manage rules, and edit rule, and we'll make it if it's uh, equal zero instead. And avoid those little arrow buttons because it does that thing to you. Equals, okay, okay, and a bam! It highlighted everything. Uh, but in most importantly, it highlighted the stuff that is not there. So, yeah, I, I don't use this function too much, but, you know, it's there as an option. Alright, thank you for watching.